guys you got here today is october 10th uh 2017 and this is another monthly subscription box from ipen box there we go upside down i think therefore i pen or i ink therefore i pen sorry about that um let's see what's inside this month's box hmm all right let's get this thing open Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see the theme. And, of course, the $10 off everything coupon. Um, ghostly is the coupon code, and it doesn't want to focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Focus. Focus. Here we go. Um, this coupon code expires uh, October 31st. And this is this month's theme. It's the fall season. You get... Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, you get a little Frankenstein sticker. That's cool. First, up, you get... Oh, it's actually a little mini pencil sharpener. Okay. You get a... Oh, this is the Schneider lineup. Um, this is fine liner pen, apple green. Whoa! This is a cool orange. Uh... This is the color block orange highlighter pencil. It's highlighter pencil from Karan de Archie. I probably botched up every single brand name spelling. You get a Schieffer classic calligraphy set. Hmm. Okay. You get a Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's for the month of October. That's good. And it is a special pen that's not on this. This is a Mobius 211 two-hole sharpener. This is a breast cancer pen. Cool. Bad phrasing. Not breast or cancer pen. A breast cancer awareness pen. Um, this looks like another Schieffer... Uh, Oh, this is Parker. Cool. And you have a Noodler's Blue Ghost Invisible Ink. Huh. Um, well, nothing to see. It's just clear liquid. Uh, but this is Invisible Ink. Two pieces of candy. Whoa, okay. Okay, so this is a, this is the rollerball. This is the Jing Hao um, rollerball um, cartridge or rollerball, rollerball, rollerball inset. This is the Jing Hao XM50 rollerball pen. Um, I have mixed feelings about Jing Hao. Um, they make okay pens, but they certainly do a lot of copying of other uh, manufacturers. And this is all aluminum, so it weights uh, a ton. Uh, and the, the fit is not perfect, but for its price, it's a perfect starter pen. And you get a Ward Pocket Notebook Mist. And um, this is a bullet journal um, sort of notebook. As you can see, they even give you a little bullet journal guide um, to every, and then every page sort of have the uh, sort of bullet journal um, markings. Um, and um, how to take better notes. And it fits nicely with other sort of 
pocket uh, notebook. There we go. Uh, uh, okay, this pen does not post. Um, good to know. It looks like it's posting, but see, it's just falls apart. And is it friction? Yeah, it's friction. And you have an extra uh, refill. It's nice. Putting that aside. And um, to not bashing um, Jing Hao, aside from the co copying, this is like a, you know, this clip, it looks like a Pelican clip, very similar. And size wise is, I don't know which pen they copied from. But, you know, the, I, I don't want to diss them too much because the pen that they include last time, I actually inked it up to, um, to give it a test. And it's actually, pretty decent um this one right here um it's really small and really light and but as you can see um it actually for the size of the pen it actually can fill in pretty decent amount of ink maybe one milliliter uh, but it's really light and small and it's a little green demonstrator it actually writes surprisingly well um let me see um, and inside is a diamond um, eclipse. This is the, um, I think it's the July month or August. Maybe it's August. So this is another Jing Hao pen. I don't know the model number. I think it's 200 something. Um, with, uh, I know how to spell, um, but it's pretty smooth. Uh, very little feedback. It's on par with a um, a Pilot Varsity, but compared, that's near free, and you can put your own ink. This one you can too by ripping out the uh, the nib portion, and you can fill your own ink. Uh, but you have to worry about leakage and stuff. So it's decent. Um, and now let's try the uh, the rollerball. It's not twist. Um, this is a Jing Hao X750. Um, e um, I'm not a fan of rollerball. Um, yeah, that one goes to my wife. And let's see this Parker. I think this is like a Sonnet or Jotter. Uh, they don't have it on because this is a pen they throw in. And this is just a park. And the name is probably has a little wax. Yeah, this is yuck. Uh, okay, this is cool. Let's try this. This is the orange highlighter pencil. Okay, this is actually very neat. Um, FSC. Swiss made. Yeah. Not saying all Swiss product is quality, but this is it feels really good. The wood is really soft. The color, pretty nice. I wonder if this eraser, oh, the eraser is two. So I guess, yep, it fits. So that's why they throw in the eraser because this is an oversized pencil. Not many people have it. Candy, and this is the green apple fine liner. Uh, let's see. Oh my eyes. I cannot see the um the the green apple. It's very similar to the Kyoto ink. Which I inked up. And let's look at this calligraphy set. Um I Yeah, I think I'm just gonna uh, keep in the subscription box until December and then just cancel it uh, because I don't think I'm getting all the value out of it. Um, so this is a, I mean, if you buy from Stables, I guess this is like a $10, $15, $20 set. Um, you have three different nibs. I think these are look stub nibs. You have one pen and four ink cartridge holder. Yeah. I'm not even going to try them. Um, yeah, see, it's really a beginner set uh, or throwaway set. Um, yeah. Um, oh, 
Maybe I'll play around with it. Use it to uh, use as an ink sample. Dip writing. But I can't even show you guys the ink sample for this month. Because it's invisible ink. <sighs> Come on. Look at this. I bought one of these before. It's much better deal to buy the calligraphy set from Costco. Because they have... Um, usually around the holiday seasons. They will have a calligraphy set. For $19.99. You actually get a book. And then um, the set size is maybe two, three times um, in terms of amount of ink, different color ink, different nibs, and different pen holders. But um, yeah, I'm just going to keep subscribing until December and then cancel um, because um, I find myself can't stand crappy pens. Um, and then the, the expensive pens, you know, the one year subscription, you can buy yourself a very nice pen like Pilot Custom A23. It's about $288. Let's say, you know, with shipping, whatever, let's say, just make it even $300. That's what a 10 month subscription will get you. And then you actually get a very nice pen with, you know, 18 karat, 18 or 14, I say 18 karat gold nibs. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this month's unboxing. Uh, and I um, hope you guys come back next month and we will continue with the November uh, box unboxing, um, the iPen subscription.